Well, Prime Minister Dr. Rowley had called this meeting and it is going to run today and tomorrow. What can we expect? Uh, what you can expect is a robust discussion on all issues surrounding this very important area of the CSME, the acronym for uh, the CARICOM Single Market and Economy. So we have a very detailed and uh, comprehensive program. Uh, we would start by a brief opening ceremony, essentially restricted to opening remarks, and then the meeting will delve directly into the substantive issues. Mm -hmm. Uh, among such issues would be the status initiatives being undertaken to allow Haiti's integration into the CSME undertaking. We would also look at the report of the Commission uh, that reviewed Jamaica's relationship with CARICOM and the CARIFORUM grouping as well. We would also treat with salient issues related to that same CSME exercise, as well as other related issues, essentially focusing on how we see the CSME undertaking evolving that would be bring relevance and urgency and effective implementation as we go forward in the near future. And CSME is all about creating that economic space within CARICOM member states. And it is one way to, to do business and make business easier amongst the countries. Um, why are we pushing for this now? Uh, for a number of years, there has been some tardiness, some, uh, I would say, fueled perhaps by some level of procrastination because of the inherent difficult choices available to member countries uh, that remain sovereign states. Uh, we in Trinidad and Tobago, because of our natural interests and the importance that the integration movement holds for Trinidad and Tobago, not only for the economy, because uh, Trinidad and Tobago enjoys uh, a favorable balance of trade with the region in sign a significant amount, but we hold true to our belief and our conviction that the region can best be served, not by individual units, but by the region as a whole, as we confront greater issues worldwide. And you mentioned Haiti. That would mean that the market would be opened up to, what, over 14 million people. So that should be able to benefit Trinidad and Tobago in, in the long term as well? Yes, certainly. I would not uh, characterize it as should, but rather uh, the integration movement and indeed the CSME undertaking is anchored on some very credible pillars. Mm -hmm. It would create a larger economic space, a larger market. It would allow for greater and more efficient use of the resources region-wide. It would allow for greater economies of scale, of production. It would also allow for movement of skills, capital across the countries, and certainly even with other worldwide changes that we are currently witnessing, given the dynamism across the globe, we think that the CSME and CARICOM is even more essential to our uh, existence, effectively. But if one is to look at what happened with the British, their exit from the European Union, is the government taking that into consideration? That evolving situation is one that continues to unfold, of course. We are not merely spectators in that um, situation, but uh, it would be remiss of us, and certainly we are fully, we take full cognizance of it, of that issue as it unfolds, not only at the level of the government of Trinidad and Tobago, but region wide and the DIC within CARICOM as a grouping. All right, thank you very much, Minister Dennis Moses, for chatting with us. And I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from you over the next two days as this meeting of the CARICOM Heads of Government unfolds. Uh,